the last little topic I want to um, just touch on is that you may hear from time to time um, a, a thing about the New Zealand Disability Strategy. What is that? Originally conceived in 2001, uh, a number of disabled people and another number of government organisations got together to form a strategy around how disabled people want to be seen, how we want to be integrated, how we want to work in the community. What's the best way for us? And the strategy was developed. So the vision in back in those days was all about full inclusive society. In other words, people with disabilities fully inclusive in all levels and all aspects of our daily life. So under this strategy, New Zealand will be inclusive when people with impairments can say that they live in a society that highly values, lives and constantly enhances our full participation. And that's a lofty goal, but it is working. Uh, it was reviewed back in 2007. And most, in fact, all government departments now have to adhere in all of their strategies to the New Zealand Disability Strategy. It's part of law. So, the summary the key points of the strategy are disability is not something that individuals have. Individuals have impairments, whether they're physical, sensory, neurological, psychiatric, intellectual or other impairments. Disability is the process which happens when one group of people create barriers by designing a world for only their way of living, taking no account for the impairments that other people may have. And those are the barriers we're talking about. And finally, Disabled people aspire are facing huge barriers to achieving life. So many take that you might take for granted. Um, so really what I'm saying is those barriers could be physical. They could be uh, in the way people talk to us, in language. And in this course you'll hear about some of the language that we use now in the disability world when you're talking to disabled people and how it's important to be using the correct language. And so language can be a barrier if you really are not using the right stuff there. It could also be written barriers, you know, for example, someone with sight impairment, uh, low vision. It could be the print is too small. It could be that colours are wrong and um, you'll see now a lot of work done around signage in especially hospitals where colour contrasts are important. A white background with black print, perfect. Um, whereas sometimes a coloured print on a coloured background, some people can lose that, uh, not enough definition. Lighting is important, things like that. If you're going to have a meeting and you want to run a uh, meeting with people with sight impairment, make sure it's good lighting and that people can all see the speaker. Anything like that causes little barriers if you don't have it right. So good luck with the program. I hope everything goes well. This is just a sample. It's a starter kit for um, hopefully increasing your knowledge and your abilities to work with people with disabilities. For some of you, this is old hat. For others, it could be new stuff. We've also got an advanced program coming uh, that we use now uh, here in the Waikato, but I'm sure we can put some of that online as well. So uh, look forward to a Mark II version. Good luck with your journeys with Disability Start. Thanks for your attention. Good luck.